Hi everyone, I'm Neil and I'm here again to review another movie with you guys, another round or torch. me because as I told you before I love old school and if you haven't watched my previous videos shame on you come on go subscribe our channel and watch the rest and if you like them share it with your friends this story is about four high school teachers who's struggling with unmotivated students and they think their life is so boring and they had a dinner party for Nikolai's birthday and they had a discussion with a friend who is a psychiatrist who theorized that the blood alcohol content actually 500 uh, makes you creative and relaxed they wasn't so much agree with him at first but after a while they decided to try that theory which their blood alcohol content should never be below 500. This movie is a kind of Dutch version of Fight Club and if you're a fan of Fincher's Fight Club you're gonna love it. This movie is so enthusiastic but bitter and sad and you know if you watch The Hunt you're gonna see another good collaboration with the director Thomas Winterberg, the screenwriter Tobias Lindholm, and the great Matt Mikkelsen. And if you haven't watched it yet, you're gonna love it. Please go watch this. And if you wanted to, just comment me below, and I'm gonna make a video to review that movie too. This director always wants to show the drinking culture of his country, and you know. This story concept maybe seemed like cliche and pointless, but the main idea contains a painful truth like an advice to some special person. And you know, the ending scene of this movie is the most surprising ending I've seen lately, actually. The actors played so well and perfect, not just Mikkelsen, but Winterberg actually was so successful converting Hannibal's lead actor to a, a slovenly dad and a disagreeable teacher who his students doesn't take him very seriously. His children always playing video games while he's home and his wife also doesn't care about him that much. If you haven't watched the movie yet, I suggest you to subscribe our channel and watch the rest of the video as soon as you watch the movie. In this movie, because of the drinking subjects, scenes are happier, brighter, full of laughter and warmer actually. After a while, they decided to write down all of the theory aspects with scientific methods after they had a drinking evening with each other. And conclusion of that decision was so good actually. They improved their teacher's skills, uh, Martin's wife cares about him again, and Tommy decided to improve a student's striker's skill after actually he rejected him. This movie starts in Nikolai's house, continues in a bar, and ends in a streamlet, obviously. Another round is a movie admires oblivion and it's about loneliness. 
Human's loneliness is one of the most prominent issues of art and artists in all ages and in this movie loneliness appears as Martin. This movie has many concepts and I'm gonna tell you some of them. The first one is fight against fight. This movie takes you to the edge of the cliff and you know if the last scene was an end with the death of one of those friends the audience would be definitely so bored and you know it's gonna show you the euphoria after using alcohol but the concept is more than that it's about returning to the deep-rooted feelings and it says whenever you're forgetting about those roots and those feelings, you're gonna be so confused. The cold and careless relationship between Martin and Annika is the result of that self-forgetting and that oblivion. As you see, Martin's temporary alcohol consume take him to himself and Again, as you see in the end, uh, the euphoria he had wasn't because of the alcohol, that was because of his wife's messages. If men normally fight instinctively with their things, make them um, depressed or down, this alcohol consume may be the best medicine for the momentary and concern, especially in these stressful, busy modern world. Another concept in the movie I'm gonna talk about is the social concept. As you can see in other Winterberg's movies, his movies has many social and educational concepts. Euphoric people can teach science or anything else so much better because the brain challenges and the stressful thoughts are gone when you're euphoric. An euphoric person is not necessarily a healthy person, but of course so enthusiastic and attractive. The gymnasium teacher who teaches determination and challenge to an isolated kid um, with his euphoric mood of course would be so respectful in that kid's image and that respect is because of the good vibe he shared in the class although it's temporary and you're gonna see the exact same respect and reaction for the music teacher too. Directing a social concept movie is a risky thing, but Winterberg with Another Round proves that these social movies doesn't have to make any new problems, but they have to receive a social crisis concept from a personal problem and then encourage it at the end, like he does that in another round. Mads Mikkelsen, Winterberg's favorite actor, actually was the perfect choice because his face expressions are representing a cold and depressed person who can come to drugs or alcohol any moment. And in the end, this movie is gonna show us there is no drugs or pills to make human get rid of all of those doubts, challenges and sadness. But only you can quiet them down with returning to your deep feelings or creating them. Okay guys, I hope you like this video and for future more videos, please subscribe our channel and comment any suggestion for me below and please share us with your friends. Thank you for watching me. Goodbye. See you around.